the snowflakes fluttered down and crashed into the car windshield. In one second, we were driving on the street, and in another, we were crashing into the ditch. Have you ever been in a car accident before? Today, I will share with you my story, because even though it was the first time that I had ever been in a car accident, it still caused me a few problems. It gave me a few different firsts, things that had never happened before this moment. It affected me ever wanting to drive, and when I did, it affected the way I drive today. Not only was it my very first accident, but it was my first time ever being put into a hospital. I had never broken any bones or had any surgeries before, so I had never been rolled into the hospital in a stretcher and put into a hospital gown and had IVs stuck into me, and it was a whole new situation for me. So I was shaking a lot, and I was very scared of what was going to happen to me. It was the first time that I had ever had a CAT scan before. I held into my grandma's hand the entire time because I was so scared of this donut hole I was going into. And it was the first time that anybody has ever told me that I could have died. I was sitting on the passenger side during the accident, and the airbag on my side did not go out, which was the best thing for me because if it had, the doctor told me that I easily could have died from it. So after hearing all that, I never wanted to drive again. I would ride the bus home, or I would walk to my mom's office and wait for her to get off work. And even when I was riding with my mom, I would sit in the back seat because I was scared to sit in the front seat again. So I would even ride, wait for my brother to come pick me up after school or wait for him to get done with practice because I was just scared to actually get my own permit and start driving by myself. And even when I was able to get my permit, I refused. My mom would sit there and she would say, Marissa, you need to study because you're going to take this test. And I was like, I'm not going to because I'm scared that the same thing is going to happen to me again. And when I finally buckled down and I got my permit and I started driving by myself, I started to realize that that this accident was kind of affecting the way that I drive. I'm very cautious of people driving. I constantly notice the other cars and the way they drive. If they're coming towards me, I react instantly. And I just always look around me to make sure that everyone's doing what they're supposed to be doing. I also realized how much I hate winter driving. I hate seeing snow coming onto ground because my car accident happened in the winter and there was snow falling on the ground and it looks so peaceful, but when you're getting out of a smoky car and your ears are ringing, it just doesn't become peaceful anymore. So when I see snow falling on the ground, I get super freaked out because I know that I'm going to have to drive in it. And it also made me nervous about how other people drive, not just other people in other cars, but in the car that I'm in itself. When I'm sitting in the passenger seat or in the back seat, I kind of freak out because I'm scared that it's going to happen again. So I'm constantly telling them to slow down or make sure that you're stopping or telling them we have to turn here. And I think people get really annoyed with me when I'm just making sure that they're paying attention and they know what they're supposed to be doing. So even though it wasn't the best thing that happened to me, it gave me a new insight on driving. It gave me many firsts. It made me never want to drive again. But when I finally did, it affected the way that I drive today. I do hope I'm not the only one that has ever had these problems after getting into a car accident. But as the flow snowflakes crash into my windshield, like they do every winter, I never forget the accident that changed me.